Hello everyone and welcome back to another Stormworks Search and Destroying Weapons DLC video. Now in this video we're going to be checking out the 76mm stabilized naval gun that I found over on the workshop. It looks really cool, seems like it's got a couple of cool little modes with this and this would pretty much just be a full package that you could just add on to your ship and you could go and use, which sounds really cool. Now it also has 150 rounds, which is very impressive. So let's go and open it up, let's go and have a look inside here. So it looks like we've just got a whole bunch of drum mags with some HE loaded in here. And then we've got a little control station and oh, a little service hatch too. That's pretty cool. Oh yeah, nice. Uh, this side's also got a service hatch for reloading if need be. And it looks like we've got some sensors and a camera. And some more lasers and things. Okay, let's go into this. Uh, now I've got my Mark 6 that I'm currently uh, renovating for the weapons DLC over there. For you guys that so we're going to be hopefully laying some rounds into. So we've got some options here. Screen power. We've got enable turret stabilization. So if you're off at sea and obviously your ship is rocking up and down, stabilization very useful. Switch camera. Okay, so just two different cameras. Camera IR if we need it. Turret power, master arm, burst fire, single fire, and auto. Let's try single fire for now. We've also got your up, down, left, and right. Okay. And let's switch camera. Because that one move up and down? This one does. Okay, great. That's a little better. So this one does move up and down, which is perfect. It sounds like there's a AI helicopter behind us having some fun. Okay, interesting. Uh, let's see if we can go and zoom in on this. Now, I'm going to stabilize it. So let's enable stabilization and let's go and zoom down if we can. Yep. So it seems like the controls are inverted. Which is interesting this interesting way of doing it uh we can do it whoa that's very sensitive okay let's put a couple rounds down range and let's see what this is going to look like so fire fire nothing nothing there we go okay so we've got a couple rounds there we're a little bit short so let's increase oh pitch about that much should be good no it looks like we need some more here so let's zoom out ever so slightly and it's up again, it's so about there, should be good. And there's that red tip there. Yes, nice. Let's go third person, let's check that out. Oh, nice. Okay, let's do, uh, let's do burst fire. Okay, so just put three shots down range for us, which is pretty cool. Nice. Okay, what about auto? I'm guessing auto you would just hold the trigger down. Yeah, you just hold the trigger down and just sends rounds, doesn't it? Let's zoom in a bit. I mean, we can't really see, can't we? What if we switch the camera? Hold on. Switch camera. Okay, switching camera works quite well, actually. Got so many rounds on this thing. It's pretty cool. And you can see just how many rounds we're putting down range into that poor Mark 6 there. Oh, we got a fire. Oh man, this is pretty cool. I like it. It is really nice. The crate's going a great job with the little design of this too, having this many rounds in it. It's a complete package. That's all you need really. Could put a couple more rounds down range on this. I would like maybe to see it ever so slightly a little bit less sensitive in terms of the movement, but um, I mean, it's okay. Once you got it stabilized, what happens if we do unstabilized? Okay, it's about the same. Okay, and we can go back to the other camera. Yeah, I think that the idea of having two cameras is a very good idea. That way you can obviously still go up and down like I'm doing now without actually having to move your main camera because you're obviously compensating for elevation. So that is really cool. So guys, a uh, nice, lovely naval gun. Definitely recommend you go and check it out. I will leave a link in the video description below. Uh, you can see the amount of damage we did to that poor boat. Uh, but yeah, really cool. So definitely go check it out. If you guys have enjoyed this video, make sure you smash that like button, hit the subscribe button. Until the next one, we will see you then.